Hello and welcome, Silas here. And today, upon request, I just wanted to go over PlayStation Now. What it is, kind of how it works, and some thoughts on it, you know, good, bad, all that wonderful stuff. Um, I know a couple of you had asked for asked for this information, so here it is. Sorry, it took me a while to get to uh, making this video, but uh, my previous PC... Uh, Unfortunately, um, it was not working correctly, and I had to um, build a new one. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this started. All right, um, PlayStation Now is a streaming service from Sony, um, so you don't need a physical disc or anything like that to play these games. Um, you just go to your PlayStation Store from your PlayStation 4, um, PlayStation 3, uh, PS Vita, PS TV. Um, to get to it so let's just do that right here and as you can see when I go into I'm using PlayStation 4 uh, PS now is right here uh, I guess you kinda wanna think of it like Hulu or Netflix but with games um, they do have a, um, a monthly unlimited uh, version of the service now uh, but that's only if you're on PlayStation 4 um, if you have a PlayStation 4 and you use the monthly service, you can still access any of the games uh, that you've rented out uh, from your PlayStation TV or Vita or whatever, but you have to have a PlayStation 4 in order to do the um, the monthly plans. Now, they, As you can see, as I'm showing you here, they do have two different ones. Uh, one month for uh, 20 or three months for 45. Three months is obviously a better value. Uh, we'll talk about the pricing scheme and whatnot a little bit more at another point. Um, and if we're as we're browsing through the sections, you can see they've got like the new, which uh, oh hey they added Uncharted. I actually haven't looked at this in a little bit. Um, and as you can see, they have individual prices if you just want to individually rent these games. Um, oh, that's good that they got they got Uncharted. Oh, Bioshock Infinite's up here now. Wow. They've uh, added quite a few games to the selection now. Looks like it's getting better. They've been listening. All right, that's awesome. Um, now, when you stream these games, the quality isn't going to be as good as if you were to play it, if you had a disc in a PlayStation 3 and you were to put it in. So far, the only games that they have on now that I've seen are all PlayStation 3. Um, there has been taught that eventually they will add you know, other games to the service, but here, let me pull up the whole list right now. Um, wow, their totals up to, they have 261 games total, as you can see in the upper right corner. Um, alright, so they've got all these different games, and as you can see, they're all pretty much PS3 or were PSN games on PS3. Um, Sims 3, Uncharted 2, God of War, okay, they, they've added some different stuff. Oh, hey, Ragnarok Odyssey Ace. Now, let's see, this is part of the thing that does make this service good. If you up if you sold your PS3 and you got a PS4, okay, as we all know, there's still quite a few PS3 games coming out that are only on PS3, like maybe you missed Ragnarok Odyssey and you still want to play it. You can go ahead and um, rent that, or if you're doing the monthly service, then you've got your unlimited access to um, any of the games on here. Um, my recommendation, if you, if you were to use this streaming service, um, and you were going to do it frequently, uh, more than just a game or two. Um, if you're just if you plan on playing quite a few of these games, I'll look at the list, see which see if there's stuff you want to play before you go um, making up your your mind on that. Um, if you decided that you liked it and you wanted to do it, um, and you do the monthly, do the three months, or whatever. Probably during summertime, I can see this being a big thing when there's a large game while people will be going back and trying to play stuff. Um, that three month for only fifteen a month is probably your your best bet if there's going to be quite a few games that you want to play and you've got the time to tear through them uh, you can get quite a few and um, just like as if you were playing it locally on the on the PlayStation 3 all of your uh, trophies and all that stuff will all sync up to your account as long as you're on the same uh, PlayStation account so as you can see there's quite a few games um, the Ratchet and Clank that one uh, the Street Fighter 4 of course, the PS3 version of Last of Us, although if you have a PlayStation 4, I would just pick up the PlayStation 4 version. Um, there's some games on here that I just don't understand why they bothered to put them on here right away, because um, unless you're only on a PS Vita or PS TV, and that's your only access to this, uh, some of this stuff really is kind of 
And, you know, they really need to focus on the things that people don't have as much access to. That's just my personal opinion. Um, as far as all that. But anyway, getting down to business, I'm just going to go ahead and um, where is it? Where's that freebie? Let me flip up through here. I'm going to go back. Um, yeah, they've got a free trial. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and do this free trial just so I can kind of show you how everything works. Um, they give you a week um, and then after that you start getting charged. Now, of course, after you start the free trial, you can, um, you know, cancel the renewal, that kind of thing, because it does automatically go to an auto renewal, just like most stuff for uh, PlayStation, whether you subscribe to Plus or whatever, which is one thing I do want to go over. You do not have to have PlayStation Plus in order to use PlayStation Now. It is two separate things, so you don't have to feel obligated to have Plus if you just want to do PS Now and have all the rent rentals or whatever. So I'm going to go ahead and, and do my free trial right now. Um, okay, it's going to actually... they. It's a dedicated app now. They changed how it's set up. Yeah. Okay, it's been a little bit uh, since I've fired this up. It didn't have a, its own dedicated thing before, but okay. Uh, that's fine. I mean, it did in uh, during the closed beta, which I was a part of, but then when it came open beta, they didn't have it. I guess for the for the um, for the subscription. Oh, okay. Yeah, subscription app. Okay, because you had to use the app if you wanted to do the subscription. Okay. If you're if you're just renting them, uh, apparently you don't need the app. This is just for the subscription. Okay. All right. That's that's cool. I don't care. Um, they do have some good stuff on here now, so that's um that's cool. We'll we'll, we'll take a look at that in a second. Um, but again, this is a streaming service. You don't have to have the PlayStation 3 disc. Um, a lot of people are looking uh, at it as kind of like a backwards compatibility thing. I don't like to look at it like that because backwards compatibility would be a local, like our PlayStation 3, we could put a disc in or whatever. So I, I don't view it like that. Um, not sure what exactly it's doing other than saying, please wait. Uh, probably all kinds of extra stuff. There we go. Okay, so here we are. It opens this app. Okay, so there it is, PlayStation Now. Now it's on my dashboard. Um, so apparently when you do the subscription, it puts the app on there, which which is fine. Okay, that works. All right, now it's gonna load in. Okay, so now this is all just PlayStation Now, which of course is just gonna show us all this new stuff first that they wanna um, show us. All right, so I'm guessing some games might not be available under the subscription. I don't know. Um, we'll find out. All subscription games. 109. Okay, so the entire list of PlayStation Now games is not available through the subscription. It is only select games, apparently. Because as you saw earlier, when I just went to PlayStation Now on its own, there was 200 and some. But if you do the subscription... There's only 109 right now. Hmm, that's a little bit disappointing uh, to me. But if it's the more relative stuff that maybe you missed, it might not be so bad. Let's take a quick look and see what's um, which games are uh, only available or uh, available on the subscription versus um, the other one. Bioshock's still there. That's a good game. Uh, Last of Us, of course, if you if you happen to miss that, although, again, if you have a PS4, why not just get the PS4 version? Of course, I guess if you're uh, paying for the sub, I guess it's cheaper to pay that 15 bucks and run through it than to uh, buy the game right out. Um, so that's, I guess, just going to be a personal thing. Batman Arkham City, okay. that That's a worthy playthrough. Um, of course, Uncharted, PlayStation version, you gotta, you got to play some Uncharted, Infamous. Um, Killzone 3, okay. Hmm. All right, there, there's seems to be kind of mixed. Okay, into the Nexus Ratchet and Clank, which is what I used for my last video. I just uh, manually rented that. Um, uh, let's see, Sonic CD, Dark Siders. Okay, at least they, at least they put a few good games here. Still, they kind of mixed like some of the the more higher rated games, and then they kind of threw just like uh, here. Let's just kind of pad this out a little bit, which is. 
I, mean, I know that some of these games people love them, but uh, it seems like quite a f there's a number of them in here from what I'm seeing. They're just kind of like, they threw them in here just to kind of pat it and say, hey, we have at least 100 games. Um, but, you know, that's that, that's a typical thing for advertising and um, PR and whatnot. Oh, hey, we have this many. Um, of course, the real question to us consumers is, is are, are they worth playing? <laughs> um, wow, okay, well... There's a couple things on here worth playing. I'm not sure I would really... See, it's just disappointing that the subscription doesn't have um, a lot of the stuff that the normal uh, that the normal normal rental does. Okay, Overlord 2. That's kind of funny. Older, but funny. Um, the original one. Wow, it's missing like Mass Effect and some other fairly popular titles that are in the normal streaming list um, but apparently they're not part of the subscription base that's 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 a little disappointing but all right we'll uh, we'll roll with that I'll go ahead and uh, um, I gotta pick something now Final Fantasy 13 okay well that's definitely not in my Uncharted um, Bioshock Batman um, all right, well, I'm just going to pick something just so I can show you kind of the basic of... Uh, Uncharted 2 was awesome. That was a good game. I haven't played that in a long time. Um, I'm actually going to do Batman, though. Uh, especially with the new Batman coming up. That's just I just feel that that might be... So, okay. Let's just go ahead and do this. Um, start free trial. I'll go ahead and change my settings after I'm done this video um, okay so I'm not sure of course uh, up at the top you know it does tell you you know cancel before the end of the free trial period to avoid billing because it is an automatic an automatic thing but we'll go ahead and just do that to make sure you can stream games which of course it's going to check for you and my connection is way more than than good enough um, I do believe they recommend at least a 5 meg uh, download speed. Uh, I happen to have 50, so I know that this isn't a problem, even if my internet connection goes down a little bit. Um, so, uh, of course, if you know faster is better, it's better than to have the minimum, but I do believe that Sony does recommend at least a 5 meg internet connection. But again, this is a streaming service more like Netflix or Hulu or that kind of thing. Um, so, anyway, as you can see, it's tested my connection um, to make sure that I can stream games. Okay, dude, blah, 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 blah. It wants my credit card information. Eat me. I'm not doing that. Okay, so it's not going to let me do that. All right, so I'm going to take a different route because I am not putting my credit card information in there. Um, I always use, like, prepaid cards and things like that. So that's that's kind of a downer. So um, I guess I'm just going to... I do have money on my PlayStation Store account because, like I said, I use the reload cards. So I guess instead of using the free trial, I'm going to waste a couple of dollars just to do this video so I can show how this works, which is which is fine. I'll do one of them little $2, $4 ones. Um, let me go ahead and get rid of this because I will not be doing that. That's a touch disappointing there. Um, let's go to the full selection for the rentals. Let's, let's, let's get into that. Um, okay. So let's go to all PS Now games. And of course, you know things are uh, you know 261 if if you want to do the per game rental. So that, that's a much much better selection. Okay, so let me pick something that's I can just kind of jump into relatively quick, or that I might actually play. Maybe I'll rent like Mass Effect or something for a week because I enjoy those games. Um, just so I can kind of show how this sets up and works. Mass Effect 2. There we go. Ooh, that's a little pricey. Oh, it starts at seven days. Okay, I thought that was the four hours. Okay. So I can rent it if you look at the pricing scale. If you look at it, um, okay, that's just the information that's pop it up. Uh, seven days is $6, 30 days is 8 and 90 days is 15 That's, eh, I know I'm not going to play this that much, though. So I guess maybe I'll just pick a different game then, um, which is the same thing you'll probably be doing if you're looking at this. Uh, Sitting there going, hmm, do I really want to do this? But again, this isn't under that subscription, which is 
really sad. Um, it's a good game. I wish it was included in that umbrella of the subscription games, but that's just that's less than half the games that are actually available are on the subscription model. That's that's very disappointing. Um, all right, let's let's find something else that I can just jump into. That is worth me messing with. Uh, Sonic Generation. That could do that. Um, perhaps, uh, but something a little bit more visual. Uh, Infamous 2, That was good. Um, not sure how that would be streamed though. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, of course. Um, Saints Row. Oh boy, what to choose? Just to kind of show how this sets up. Um, yeah, I need something. Gosh, so much more of a selection on the regular manual renting. Um, I was planning on just using my free trial, but it won't let me do it without credit card information in, and I am not going to give that to, to them. I'm just not. I'm very paranoid like that. Um, yeah, so. Madagascar, Oddworld. Um, geez. All right, so there's 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 quite the selection if you're if you're doing um, uh, if you're doing the uh, per game rental, which it seems which definitely has the best selection um, for sure. As you can see, as I'm scrolling through, there's just so much more um, of a selection. All right, let's pop back up to the top. I guess I'll just do. I'm just showing how this sets up anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Uh, let me just pick Uncharted 2, because that was pretty good. Yeah, four hours. Yeah, it's a waste. I shouldn't do this, but whatever. It'll take two ninety nine or one ninety nine now. Um, of course, now it's going to test my connection again. Yeah, the, the, the PlayStation Now service, I think, has potential, but the way that they're setting it up is a touch on the aggravating side. Um... It can be useful if you missed quite a few of these games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Remaining wallet, blah, blah, blah. Alright, so we're going to do that all in the... Yeah, start the game. Okay, and that's one thing I want... Um, Actually, you know what? Continue shopping. Okay. As you can see, once you rent it, um, if you look at the left-hand side of the screen, right underneath the, the game name, it says start by... 3 8 2015. Today is February 8th. It gives you one month to start the game. So you could rent something that you plan on maybe playing a little bit later and just not start it. Kind of like how the uh, the video on demand service works. Um, and it'll be right there. Okay, so I did that. It's, it's there. Um, but in order to play it, okay, I backed out. So now it's, there's, there's nothing there. I have to go down to my PS Now games, and it'll show. As you can see, I've I've had a couple of different things on my rental history, um, but that's all that. Uh, if you go to active rentals, then it shows what I haven't actually activated yet. Once you've played the game once, it will show up in your play history. But since I haven't played it yet, it's not in there. Um, so let me go here, and then once you start it, then my little couple hour, four hours or whatever that I did there for the 199 start so it's it's from the time that you start the game that that time will start whether it's four hours seven days 30 days 90 days that kind of thing um, I would recommend in that particular case to uh, you know kind of weigh your choices carefully if you plan on renting to make sure you get the time uh, to play and get through the game I do retract my original statement about the uh, the subscription service, I thought uh, I, I thought it was all the same games on the subscription. It was pretty disappointing to find out that it's actually much, much less uh, on on that particular front. Unless, of course, you know, like again, looking at the games, if those are all games that you're, you're going to want to play and get into, great. Um, I really hope they fix that and they, they, they match it up. Um, as you can see, as this is loading, it's now like in a PlayStation 3 kind of a, kind of a screen. Um, just like if you were playing on the PlayStation 3, but I'm not. I'm using a PS4 to stream this. Um, and again, once you once you've had the game, if you have a PlayStation Vita, PlayStation TV, you can um, you can play these. Uh, to be perfectly honest, I know that this is available on PS3, uh, PlayStation Now, but uh, the subscription service isn't. That's only on PlayStation 4 as of right now. But 
I don't see the point in this service for PlayStation 3 because you could go out and buy the game off of Amazon, buy it used from GameStop, pretty much almost all of it cheaper unless you can crank through a game in a short period of time. In which case, if you've got like a week off or something, all you're going to do is play that game. It'll probably save you a few bucks. But on the other hand, it is kind of like a convenience thing. Um, you know, you might need, you know, 12 pack of soda or whatever. Yeah, it's cheaper to go buy it from, from the big, you know, supermarket, you know, in town or further in town or, you know, depending on where you're located or whatever. Um, or do you go to a little convenience store that's right there close by and grab it? Well, yeah, you pay a little more, but it's right there. So kind of think of it like that. It's a convenience thing. You don't have to go pick up the game. You don't have to drop off the game. You know, uh, even in comparison to Gamefly, you're not waiting for it in the mail. It's just right there. And that's where the streaming, the uh, unlimited access uh, month uh, subscription plan is, is a real good thing if they iron it out and get the games added to it. Because it's like you, you could, you know, you just have access to it right now. So yeah, it, it plays just like if you're playing on PlayStation. They push the start button. If you're on PS4, it would actually be your whatever. Should be the options. Okay, so the, the oh, I forgot this had multiplayer. Oh, there's a new game. You know, I, I can go through this and do all that. Um, as you can see, there is. It is not as good as quality as having it locally. Unfortunately, that's just uh, part of what streaming will happen. I'm just going to start, yeah, 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 it doesn't matter, I'm just doing this for showing you guys, and uh, to give me time to talk about the service. Uh, again, my thoughts are very mixed on this, this service does have a lot of potential, Sony has a good idea, but they need to tighten this up. Um, it is nice, I mean, if all you have is a PlayStation 4, or even if you just go out and get a PS TV, you can access all these games. Um, you know, so, you know, PlayStation TV is what, 80 bucks right now, I think, uh, 100 if you get it with the controller, something like that, or maybe it's 70, and then 90, something like that, anyway, I know the price has dropped already since it came out, and it's not that long, but, you know, so, you know, if that's all you have access to, then this service is probably a really good thing, just be smart with your money when you go to do it, what's going on, um, as you can tell, if you're looking at it, I mean, it does look good if you have these internet connections, but yeah, it's definitely my not the same my blood. as a lot of my blood. being on an actual PlayStation 3. Okay, but anyway, I want to pop back out of this real quick. As you can see, I hit the home button, oh, the PlayStation button on my own controller. And I put the X and B, it'll be just like a PlayStation 3. You know, it goes through, you have access to everything, you have access to your trophies, which you can sync up, of course. You've still got access to your friends list and everybody on it. Um, under game, you can go to the save data utility, and um, you can actually, uh, if you do happen to have plus, you can actually put your your saves on plus, um, you know, like that, and then actually put it to a PS3 if you were doing something back and forth or, or whatever. Maybe your disc for that game got damaged, you decided to rent it so you could finish it, or that sort of thing. But I'm going to go ahead and actually just close, um, wait, controller settings. Oh yeah, you, you can assign the different controllers and all that stuff. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and actually close this out. Um, because I want to show you that once, okay, there we go, there it is. Once you've played a game one time, it'll show up on your dashboard on the PlayStation 4. Unfortunately, like on the Vita and stuff, you have to go into the app to do it. But on the PlayStation 4, if you're doing this from a PS4, once you've played it once, it'll show up on your dashboard like any other game. So instead of having to go all the way to the store, you know, instead of having to go here to the store and then, you know, scroll the PlayStation Now and my PlayStation Now games and do all that crap, it's just right here. Once you've played it once, it's there until you delete it off of here. So if I wanted to go back... You know, instead of you know, some of my Japanese games or Killzone or the Hardline Beta or whatever, uh, you know, if I rented a couple of games, they'd show up here. And of course, they have the little PlayStation Now symbol in there, so you know that that's a PS Now game. Um, and you can just go ahead. Uh, if you hit your options, it shows up just like anything else. You can delete. You can pull the information. Um, yeah, it shows you you know the size of it and all that stuff, which I'm 
you know, is of course very small because it's just a launcher because it's not actually on my system. It doesn't download the game to your system. It just streams it. It puts a little uh, launcher and that's it. So um, I can go ahead and go right back to this. It'll go right through PlayStation now. It'll connect up. Uh, see, just like it's doing, it authorizes, it's checking to make sure that I actually still have time with this game and that it's, you know, that my connection isn't uh, flaky and that it's actually going to work properly uh, for this game. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty simple. Um, all of your stuff, you know, syncs up. Uh, again, it is a streaming service. Think of it like Hulu or Netflix. Um, Bashed up with Gamefly, I guess, would be the best way to put it if you're doing the uh, subscription one. Again, I am a bit disappointed about that subscription. Uh, while there is a few good games like Darksiders and stuff in there, uh, the fact that it is less than half of the actual full PlayStation Now library is disappointing. Um, if they had more games, I, w I would actually consider it. Um, the, you know, uh, doing a couple of them, but... Uh, you know, for 15 to 45 a month and only 100 games, and out of those 100 games, probably two or three of them I would actually be interested in playing. I personally would not do the subscription product. Now, if they got more games uh, throughout the full list that I missed, um, you know, that I missed a chance to play, then uh, for me personally, I would uh, be more interested in it. But that's all I have for you. Uh, sorry for the video being a little bit long-winded. I was trying to cover everything I could think of uh, when it comes to detailing PlayStation Now, what it is, how it works. Again, it is a streaming thing. Sony hosts everything on their servers, and it just streams to you just like Netflix or Hulu where you know nothing downloads to your console or anything you have access to it whenever as long as you have an internet connection you're good to go all the saves are on their servers um, so if you're Vita or PS3 or PlayStation TV or your PlayStation 4 or whatever if however you're accessing it dies or has to be replaced or you get a second one or you know maybe you have one in the living room and you have uh, one in, uh, in your own man cave or maybe have kids and then you have the, you know you have your ps4 and then they have the PSTV or whatever setup it happens to be the game can be accessed from anywhere as long as it's on that account um, so let's say you know maybe you, know, you had it in your living room you know mommy and daddy want their time and little little Johnny wants to play you know uncharted or whatever well he's got his PSTV you know, his PSTV in the room so you set it up for him and he can you know go ahead and play it there you set it up for him there you go pretty simple start it up um, it is good for that all right so that is it I'm gonna stop talking now if you like the video find it informational all that good stuff like it share it uh, please subscribe all that good stuff again I do apologize that it took me so long to get to making this both Heavy and I do have some plans for a little bit more frequent content, um, but just getting everything going takes a little bit of time. Again, please like, share, subscribe, and I will catch you all later. Silas out.